fishing the shorelines. I'm doing something very different right now that I don't normally do. A lot of our duck ponds are either grassed over or total fresh, ugly, funk water. So this is a particular duck pond we like off the chef we went in that was totally grassed over, didn't look good. So we just started throwing spinners and corks on the shoreline of the chef itself. And we're not lighting the world on fire, but we've hooked and missed a few, seen a few. There's a few fish in here. So we're gonna keep doing this for a bit. See what we can do. We got a nice red here on our new matrix spin that's now for sale. We've been going over this for a long time now. We finally got them in. Let me net this one real quick. Beautiful fish. Nice about five or six pounder. Nice, beautiful, like I said, about a six pounder. These are that glass minnow X shed on that on our new matrix spin right there. We put this bad boy in the well, and I'll show you just how we're working this spinner bait. All right, guys, this is our new matrix spin. It's one of the things we've been using today. It's on a quarter ounce golden eye. Got a beautiful uh, number three and a half blade on there. On a nice swivel where it rotates like that. And the difference on this uh, spinner here is it rides on a clevis so it can go up and down, move up left and right. I mean, it's always free, so it doesn't get hung up. And we're using, again, that glass minnow x shad and whenever you rig this you want the hook to be facing the blade you tie it to the r bar right there and you're ready to go all right whenever i'm fishing a spinner and a lot of things i use that basic polymer knot that we go over a lot but you just fold your line over you're going to let it rest in that r bend right there tie your overhand knot big access loop around the entire spinner, pull it tight, clip off your tag line, and you're ready. That's it right there. All right, whenever you're working straight shorelines like we're doing right now, or, or they have some little cuts like we're coming up to right here, there's two different ways you can do it. You can stay way off the bank and throw at it and bring it out, or you can get real tight to the bank and parallel it. You just kind of got to decide you know, if the fish are holding real tight to the bank, I recommend getting tight and parallel in the bank. But if you're getting some bites way off where it's like three and four foot deep, you need to back the boat off and fish it all the way back to the boat and cover the entire water column. But you just, just a nice slow retrieve. One of the most simplistic lures to fish in the world is the spinner bait. We've been using this a lot this year because the water's been really dirty. I usually just slow roll it. I'll give it a little pop every once in a while. In case there's a piece of grass on it, you can pop it off. It's a really, really effective way to get fish's attention in dirty water. You know, it puts on a lot of vibration. Very easy lure to use, as all you really do is cast and retrieve it. And redfish can't stand it, they love this thing. The other lure we're using today is the popping cork. And uh, that's another great dirty water bait as it puts out a lot of sound. This puts out a lot of vibration, the cork puts out a lot of sound, and it gives you another way to get the fish's attention. All right, I'm gonna take off this red for Sam that he just caught. 
want to go over the tackle we're using right here, Matrix Flow, an old faded Tiger Bait Matrix. Put this one down. We're going to grill him tonight for show. But we're using our new, or Sam is actually, Sam's using our new Matrix Silky String. This is a awesome, awesome, like cross of a braid here. It's not exactly like your Power Pro and all. It's a little bit different. Very smooth. And you can cast this stuff a country mile. It's great for popping corks. Bomb it out there. It's got virtually no stretch. So when you pop it, when you're fishing real long casts like that with a cork, Cord goes down, you set the hook, you're immediately engaged. And we made it in a 15 pound test. It's only 0 0.09 or 009 parts of an inch in diameter, which it's really, really small, which, you know, a lot of braids are probably equivalent to a four pound test somewhere in there. Did it we did a spe specific size it's the only size we made as we wanted something good for popping a cork for trout or reds and it's small enough to crappie fish as you see we like the crappie fish in the winter time and this is what we use all right that's a good eating size baby that's what i like we started off this morning jigging a twin span, as you saw in the last episode. And like I said, we were gonna cut that short and try to do something different. So this is kind of like part two of this fishing trip. Like I said, we're throwing spinner baits and corks up along the shorelines of the chef. And we are making a nice box of fish between the two places. Get this one in the well. To hurry up and try to catch one or two more before another thunderstorm pops up. That's all we get nowadays is rain every every day. All right, guys, we're gonna make this quick. We got a roll. You can see this big storm in the background. This is an everyday occurrence right now through the summer in South Louisiana. But if you want to catch redfish like this right here, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box. We're gonna be giving out the new Matrix Silky String, which is what Sam was using on that popping cork. And I was using that Matrix Spin all day, catching redfish like this here. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Be looking for these items in your Matrix bait box. And until next time, good fishing.